This past weekend, I said goodbye to my parish assignment for the last two years. This week, I am going to take my last class in seminary ever, and I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. Hello and welcome to the Deacon Year, a weekly show about the life of at least one transitional deacon preparing to become a Catholic priest. The other night I was hanging out with a couple guys and one of the uh, seminarians a couple years behind me asked this question to me and some of the other deacons in the room. How are you enjoying your last week of seminary? And I thought about it for a moment and it occurred to me at that time, I don't know if enjoyment is the, <laughs> is the word to use at this point because it's a very odd situation that I'm in right now because you know, a couple days ago over the course of Saturday and Sunday I said my goodbyes to St. Matthew's Cathedral here in DC, my parish assignment for the past two years. And that is a, a very bittersweet moment and in some ways I'm not sure if I made said my goodbyes properly. That it, I don't know if I said I was grateful enough for everything that that community has given me, that I had the opportunity to share my appreciation for everyone there, but still I, I had to go. And yes, I'm also looking forward to the end of courses, but there's just a lot of a lot of stuff going on and it's hard for me to I guess appreciate what's going on enjoy in other words the thing is is that there's stuff to do I, su I suppose what I would really like is just some time to process this after I'm done with papers and tests I think papers are probably the big thing on my mind right now I've got Oh, 20? I did about four pages this morning. 20 pages of writing uh, left to go uh, between now and the end of the semester, which technically ends at the end of final week, finals week, and that's what, May 8th. So I have had that going for me. Um, I do have some time. It's just I want to be able to sit down with people or just be with people and not have this stuff hanging over my head. Uh, and I'm just trying to you know, make a good exit, have, have some good closure to this whole thing. Because what I'm really afraid about is that I'll just run, 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 run through the finish line, which you know, I want to do as far as putting the effort in and not checking out. But if, I, if my focus is just running through, I think I'll just run past everything else. That I'll reach the end and I would not have time to take a break and look around and you know, see what I'm leaving in the next few weeks. And it's, yeah, it's, I don't know. This is, this is where I am right now. Um, I guess in a way it's very sad to say goodbye. Uh, yesterday, Monday, uh, I guess I had some difficulty focusing. I guess it was a pretty long weekend. I preached in English and in Spanish, and it was just a long day Sunday. Um, I had a, something of a going away celebration, impromptu, organized by some of the Hispanic community, especially at St. Matt's, where I work with whom I work very closely. So that was very nice to have that opportunity to say goodbye. But still, okay, there he was yesterday, and I was just beat, just tired, and drained spiritually so I found myself trying to pray and I found myself thinking a lot about the people I will that I am leaving that I have left in a way uh, from the parish the people I've gone to know over the course of these two years and just to you know, see their faces in my mind and just think about them give thanks for knowing them pray for them um, and knowing that it's not going to be a complete break I'm not going to it's not going to be the case where I'm just going to never come back. I'm hoping to come back to D.C. probably in the fall to say a Mass of Thanksgiving. We'll see whoever my future pastor is and what he has to say about that. But yeah, it's, I mean, I guess there, it is a grieving process to say goodbye like that. Um, and the challenge of attending to those needs to process and to let go, uh, at the, while at the same time remaining focused and moving forward. And that's probably the big tension as far as the whole question of, am I enjoying my last year, my last week of seminary classes ever? 
in those open spaces of when I'm able to sit back and get some distance from the whole thing, yeah, I think I, I think I could say I, I am enjoying this. I'm enjoying this with my fellow deacons as we look forward with excitement to our ordinations within a matter of weeks. Ooh, weeks. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with all this. Well, so there you go. I'll try to edit this quickly and make something coherent out of this recording, but then I don't know if my feelings are coherent at this point either. So there you go. And yeah, just pray for us, please. Pray for um, me, pray for my fellow transitional deacons here at Theological College as we prepare for this big transition. Um, I guess we also pray for the men who are leaving seminary, moving on to the next step, those guys in philosophy who are wrapping up and then moving on to theology. And oftentimes they move on to another seminary. Some are going off to Rome, some are going to other major seminaries in the country. Uh, so just keep us in your prayers, please, that for this transition as we you know, bring closure to relationships that we've built up over these past, you know, for me, four years, and just move on wherever God leads us. And in the meantime, take care, and I guess I'll start packing.